The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Without further ado, we would like to Sans now hand over to the International Court Prosecutor to pose questions to the witness. Before that, uh, I indicated, could uh, Mr. Court Prosecutor Monsieur indicate to the chamber the time chambre. that has been allocated among the civil party lawyers and the co-prosecutors, please. Mr. President, can I explain the position, please, in this way? L'accusation. Laissez-moi vous expliquer notre position. Notre bureau avait initialement fait une Kim demande tendant à pouvoir interroger ce témoin pendant une journée et demie, tant à partager entre notre bureau et la partie civile. Puis il y a eu une réponse qui a été faite. Seulement trois quarts d'une journée ont été alloués à notre bureau et du coup, to the prosecutors la effectively passée, asking for more time, and the three quarters of a day became one day. Et on est passé de trois quarts de journée à une journée à partager entre l'accusation et la Mr. partie President, civile. I want, please, very respectfully to make this en toute request. déférence, je vous adresse une demande dans ce contexte, contexte the habit à savoir que l'accusation n'a pas l'habitude de faire des demandes injustifiées tendant à recevoir Mr. plus President, de temps d'interrogatoire. Mais, M. le Président, je vais demander reasons. un temps d'interrogatoire supplémentaire Kim Von is an pour les raisons witness. suivantes. Monsieur Kim Vaughan est un témoin important. He has an extensive knowledge Il about this connaît period. beaucoup de choses sur cette période. Secondly, we wish to avoid, if Deuxièmement, possible, having to si recall possible, him nous voulons to come éviter d'avoir à le faire revenir plus tard pour déposer. Thirdly, Troisièmement, my examination of him mon interrogatoire de ce témoin involving the assessment of a number of issues notamment sur l'évaluation de plusieurs numéros de l'étendard révolutionnaire. C'est donc un témoin qui a beaucoup de choses à dire sur this, ce document. Of the en outre, we heard from, par rapport Madame Sassier, à Mme Sassier, que nous avons entendu en parlant, nous avons déjà gagné une demi-journée par rapport au temps prévu initialement pour l'interrogatoire de cette dame. Jusqu'ici, l'accusation a interrogé M. Kim Boon pendant 1h50, une journée et demie à partager entre l'accusation et la partie civile, cela représenterait 7h10. Pour toutes ces raisons, en toute déférence, je vous engage... Monsieur le Président, à envisager de donner une journée et demie à l'accusation et à la partie civile tant à partager ensemble. Comme je l'ai dit, c'était la demande initiale qui avait été faite par l'accusation. J'espère que vous accepterez cette demande. Jusqu'ici, vous conviendrez que mon interrogatoire apporte une question précise. Les questions ont été courtes et visées à obtenir pour la Chambre des éléments de preuve. Pour toutes ces raisons, je demande que l'accusation et la partie civile puissent recevoir un temps d'interrogatoire commun d'une journée et demie. Le Président, la parole est à la partie civile. Oui, Monsieur le Président, si je peux éclairer la Chambre, je souhaiterais vous préciser que ce témoin ne sera interrogé que par un seul avocat de la partie civile, le civil party lawyers, counsel Binier, who needs an hour and a half maximum, between an hour and an hour and a half. Thank you.
The President, uh, Council Kanawas, uh, would you wish to be heard? You may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon, Honours, and good afternoon to everyone Mesdames, in, in and around the courtroom. Uh, first of all, uh, it is up to the trial chamber to decide how much time to allocate Combien de temps for each witness, not for the parties to barter and say, well, we'll less take use less time for one witness if we have more time for the other. If that's the case, then it's up to the trial chamber autre. to make a decision in advance. But secondly, and more importantly, time saved important, from one witness, because some of us are being more judicious or have no need to question the witness, doesn't mean that we get to spend that time with another witness. Otherwise, if that is the case, Sinon, then in order to prevent the prosecution from having even more time, we would be forced to use all temps, of our time just for, 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 as a matter of principle. For the sake of efficiency, we should only be taking the amount of time that is absolutely necessary. Now, I take the prosecutor at its word. Je prends but I think the better mot. argument is to say this is the, time, the amount of time we si want, not dit, since the defense did not use up all of the time in the previous witness, besoin, now we get to use it for this witness that's coming up. Nous pas so far, I have yet to hear an argument as to why so much time is necessary with this witness. Because the amount of time that is being asked is a lot of time for a witness of this nature. Thank you. The President, thank you, Councils, for the observation. The Chamber has not yet ruled upon this. Co prosecutor may continue to proceed, posing questions to the witness until the end of the day. Témoin. The Chamber will come up with the ruling on this by la tomorrow. Se demain and sur la uh, dont we also saisi. have noted concerning Par the ailleurs, time that has not been used with one witness that the time qui pas été pour uh, could témoin. be then accumulated uh, to be used uh, for other witnesses. This is not appropriate. Time that has already been allocated for one witness has to be used le at that time and it cannot be considered to be used for le putting de côté questions to another witness. The Chamber, again, will rule upon la the se sur la uh, additional time whether it could be granted or not uh, given the importance of a witness. You may now proceed. D'un temps d'interrogatoire supplémentaire, compte tenu de l'importance de ces témoins, demande présentée par l'accusation. I would like to also inform parties that, if I am not mistaken, each part, the witness will have only one day and a half. Il n'y aura qu'une journée et demie pour poser questions to de temps d'interrogatoire de ce témoin. Uh, witness. So no party shall be allowed to ask uh, for more than one and a half day. We may uh, uh, give additional time, but uh, based on the Aucune time wasted during, demander... for, for example, matters that may arise during the Plus portion of the witness. You may not proceed. Mr. President, I'm grateful. Mr. Kimborn, we were talking before the last break Merci. about handwritten annotations on material that you considered. You said that you had recognized the handwriting of Brother Paul. Was there any other annotation handwriting that you recognized? Was there any other handwriting that you recognized? Response. I noted uh, the annotations would be, for example, like these documents or text needed to be printed immediately. That's, that's part of the annotations. 
going to move on for another, uh, to another topic, the content of the revolutionary flag magazine. Source document E3-381. Khmer 00357205. French 00402998. And English 00365528. 0035 lesquels devaient les mettre en œuvre et s'y conformer. In respect of principles, you've said already in evidence today les principes, vous avez déjà that dit the content concerned political lines, que le contenu portait theory, sur la ligne politique and la théorie et l'idéologie. Can you please give us an example of the vous political vous lines? Quand vous parlez de ligne politique. Response. I may wish to give you an example. Réponse. The plan was laid out for rebuilding the country. Il y avait un plan In that de reconstruction context, du pays. we would be talking about building or constructing the country. Then there would be a plan to increase the rice on parlait de reconstruction du pays to three tons il y avait donc euh, un plan And visant à faire passer la production du riz à 3 tonnes par hectare il y avait aussi la question des offensives visant à défendre le pays selon le principe du grand bon en avant Followed the plan accordingly, and I, I have not remembered uh, other uh, lines, and I am Je not me tasked pas to lignes. Oh, with reading the revolutionary flags magazines. Anyway. Were you a party member? Question. Étiez-vous membre du parti? Response. The president intervenes. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, you Témoin. should not respond uh, without the red light. Uh, if you do so, then the the it will be very time consuming because you have to repeat that and your message may not be heard. So Sinon, please votre do that again. Message ne sera pas entendu. Response Vous allez devoir again. Le ce sera une perte de Response. Temps. No, donc la I was not. Le I was non. in the youth league. Je faisais partie de la ligue de la jeunesse. Now, in terms of revolutionary Question. flags that you saw, les was the victory of the 17th of April 1975 ever mentioned in revolutionary flags? Response. I do not Réponse. think I have verified the information when I came to Phnom Penh because I was attached uh, to Quand writing the newspapers Penh, and I was too busy with that uh, task uh, to care about uh, the flags. Pour, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but earlier in your evidence this morning, or, or today, Mais you had mentioned that when you journée, first got to Phnom Penh, that you were Phnom tasked Penh, with, as far as I understood your evidence, chargé, si putting together compris, some sort of paper or document. Is that correct? Compiler certains documents, certains journaux. Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. Effectivement. On, on this first document that you were dealing with, and this is soon after the uh, evacuation of Phnom Penh, what was that article, magazine, 
document about. S'agissait-il, ou plutôt, quel était le thème de cet article, de cette revue, Response. de ce journal It was uh, I, I did not prepare those documents. Uh, Je n'ai pas préparé ce document. Time, for me, who was attached to the newspaper section, we had to visit uh, printing houses nous to check the books they had stored in each printing house. When it comes to the content of the documents, ce qui la des documents we as authors we had to make sure that the messenger was nous nous to be friendly and read by the public, the popular mass, and it que should be broad. And for the content of the revolutionary flag, no author had ever had experience in uh, the flags or writing because uh, it was written by others. De rédaction de standard, car c'était d'autres qui rédigent. Now, aside la from uh, political question. lines, theory and ideology, party principles and guidelines, la ligne politique. Um, can I ask this? Les principes um, et orientations du parti. Was the anniversary of the 17th of April 1975? Did that anniversary du 17 avril ever give rise to any written material? A été l'occasion. De rédiger des documents écrits. Response. Normally, normally during the anniversary of the 17th of April, there would be events and the newspapers would have to cover this information Et les of the events and also the radio broadcast could also Même cover such content. Radio. Thank you. Question. Was the birthday of the Communist Party of Kampuchea from 1960, du PCK, was that ever covered in a revolutionary flag? A savoir, l'année 1960 a jamais été abordé dans l'étendard révolutionnaire. Response. I don't remember this precisely. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Nonetheless, during the anniversary étant, in the at the stadium there was statement or speech by brother Paul. Le frère Paul a it prononcé is un possible discours. that such a content could Et be covered. However, a été couvert, such statement would never be released to the newspapers uh, section. Only if we had uh, some curiosity or wanting to know the content of this that we could ask uh, for uh, reading. Thank you. I'm moving on to another subject, which I'm calling Target Audience. Source document E slash 380. ERNs, Khmer 00357200. French 00485433. English 00365645. Il s'agit du public cible. When you were talking about who received the revolutionary flag, you said only the party cadre and the zone sector and district levels. And you also said it was a confidential document. First question: Why was the revolutionary flag only distributed to cadre? Response. So far as I know, cadres 
need this very much à for leading other people. Les cadres en so the Canton uh, was very much wanted les in the revolutionary flags because the flags are served as the medium for communicating the message to the other people. Pour propager le message. From your knowledge then, was it important that cadres read the revolutionary flag magazine? Response. Yes, from my knowledge, during the time of war, or any other time, cadres guerre, very much uh, autre, uh, in, uh, need, in need of uh, reading the flags so that they are well guided. Lire les tendards révolutionnaires pour pouvoir s'en inspirer. How would an individual cadre Question. know it was important to read Comment the revolutionary flag? Un cadre donné pouvait savoir qu'il était important de lire les tendards révolutionnaires. Response. Réponse. As indicated earlier on, the content of the flags uh, were dis, mainly about the rebuilding the country, the fence of the country, du pays, sur la and du uh, pays. normally these uh, message would be secret. However, général, those cadres who uh, were informed would then have to impart these uh, to others. Propager ce message parmi les autres. So just to clarify that back Question. end of your lance answer, la were de la cadres réponse, expected que les cadres just to read the contents on their own juste individually lire or was group discussion la ever encouraged? Ou bien que la discussion de groupe était parfois encouragé. Response. Réponse. I don't know about this. I don't know whether Je sais rien. Um, each individual Je uh, would be si offered a copy. But I believe that the, uh, an individual would be offered the copy and he or Mais she would uh, impart the information ensuite, to others, like at my place. We autres. have our senior cadres who uh, supervised us, and if we would like uh, to read anything si about uh, the flags, then we would have to talk to them. Because uh, we, the writers, needed uh, some nous, information so that we could be good at writing. Thank you. Can you help us on Question. just roughly how many copies Grosso were modo, published each time the revolutionary flag was published? À combien d'exemplaires étaient tirés l'étendard révolutionnaire à chaque publication? Response. Réponse. I don't know the exact uh, number of copies, but every time exact. there was stack of magazines pour numéro, il y avait of des each issue. Exemplaires. Next, next subject Question. heading, Je passe à autre distribution. La distribution, source document E3-380, Khmer, 0035-7197, French, 0048-5430, English, 0036-5640, on that page, Mr. Kim Bon, you said that the revolutionary flag was disseminated nationwide. First question. Can you help us on who came to collect the copies prior to them being distributed? Response. I do not know. 
I just saw je n'en sais rien. Des copies being loaded J'ai on juste trucks. vu des gens charger And les exemplaires uh, they dans be un camion, to dans des camions. Three or four, for example, not individual person's name would be listed on the recipient's list. Et Sometimes they would just say that these copies had to be delivered to the east without referring to each or specific individual. Et dans les exemplaires devaient être envoyés dans l'est précisé les personnes concernées. Mr. Kim Vaughan, just for clarification, um, un éclaircissement. When you Monsieur just said témoin. district, I Vous don't know if you said district, district 304 avez-vous dit or district 3 ou 3 4 or ou bien 304 pourriez-vous préciser En anglais était-ce 304 um, the ou interpreter three could not catch uh, what four. the witness was saying the mic was not activated The president intervenes. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, inaudible, your response was not heard because the allumé. mic was not on. Le président intervient. Response. Témoin, votre micro n'était pas allumé. The number, le témoin. the coding 304 here refers Ici, to le chiffre the north 304 zone. renvoie à la zone nord. Thank you. Did the party Question. leaders receive Les copies? Les dirigeants du parti en recevaient-ils un exemplaire? But can be got response. Uh, sometimes they could be retrieved or uh, uh, could be collected back. On pouvait récupérer les exemplaires. Mr. Kevin, it's probably me. I don't understand that answer. You said sometimes they could compris. be retrieved. Vous dites que parfois ils pouvaient être récupérés. Back. My question was, um, and a yes or no will suffice for my purposes. Pour moi, Did the party oui, leaders receive copies? Est-ce que les dirigeants du parti en recevaient un exemplaire? The president, uh, Mr. Witness, your mic was not yet activated. Please hold on until you see the red light before you proceed with your response. Salume. Response. Le témoin. I said, uh, as long as the people in the zone and sectors received the copies, those in Phnom Penh would also have received the copies because si les gens des my boss un exemplaire, les gens de Phnom Penh also aussi. received a copy Mon chef and I believe that every member je crois que tous les or cadre of the party could have received a copy. When we say every cadre, Question. were Vous they dites, distributed to cadres working cadre, outside the country? Est-ce que cela était distribué aux cadres qui travaillaient à l'extérieur du pays? Response. I don't know. Réponse. Je n'en sais rien. Did you ever receive complaints Question. that cadres were not receiving their copies? Est-ce que vous avez jamais entendu des plaintes comme quoi certains cadres ne recevaient pas d'exemplaires? Response. No, Réponse. I don't know. Non. How did you know, Mr. Kim Vun, if an addition Monsieur of the revolutionary Kim flag was a success or a failure, euh, or how it had been received? Si numéro de l'étendard révolutionnaire était un succès ou un échec, et comment ce numéro a été reçu? Response. I don't know. The only thing I knew je was that I saw the copies uh, were being delivered in stacks to various locations. Des piles d'exemplaires partir pour être livrés à différents endroits. Thank you, Mr. Kimball. L'accusation, merci. I'm moving now to specific documents. Je vais passer maintenant à un certain nombre de documents spécifiques. Mr. President, I'd like, please, Mr. Kim Vun to be shown le président, au from the prosecution's document bundle. 
un document qui est um, dans euh, l'ensemble des documents soumis par l'accusation. Three pages, certainly in English. Trois pages en anglais. Um, source document number E3 slash 5. That's the front copy of a revolutionary flag magazine. And then two extracts from that document, which I'll give the RNs to in due course. So please, Mr. President, can Mr. Kim Vun be handed this bundle of documents extracted from E3 forward slash 5? You may proceed. Court officer is instructed now to obtain the document from the prosecutor and hand it over to the witness. While that's been done, can I um, explain to everyone in court that this is the front page of a revolutionary flag issue 8, August 1975? Now, Mr. Kim Vaughan, you should have before you, first of all in this pack, the front page of a revolutionary flag issue 8, August 1975. Du mois août 1975. French 00539511. English 00489514. Now, just pausing for a minute on this front document, you said to us No, it was never uh, published in, when, uh, in K27. The publication was normally printed in Office K25, but this particular cover page was printed in K26. Now, if we just set this in a time frame, this issue is August 1975. So this is only four months after you started working at the ministry. Looking at the front page, we can see that there are five flags towards the top of the document. Was there any meaning or message behind these five flags to your knowledge? Portait-il un message Symbolisait-il quelque chose à votre connaissance That I do not know because I was not a member of the party. I did uh, come across this uh, front page, uh, but I did not read them. déjà vu cette couverture, mais je ne l'ai pas lu. Yes, that's fine. Now, I'd like you to turn the page over, explaining to my learned friends present in court and Mr. President and, uh, and their honours. This is still on E3 slash 5. It's ERN Khmer 00063324, French 00538963. And English 00401488. Now, Mr. Kim Vun, the heading on the top of this page is Long Live the Magnificent Revolutionary Army. 
of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. And the document starts with these words. On the 22nd of July 1975, on the occasion of the ceremony of the Communist Party of Kampuchea Center to establish the Revolutionary Army, the comrade chairman of the high level military committee of the party convened an important political conference of the Communist Party of Campuchia Center for approximately 3,000 representatives of every unit of the Revolutionary Army. Now, can you remember this ceremony which took place on the 22nd of July, 1975? I do not recall, and I do not even recall where it was organized. It could have been um, organized in the Olympic stadiums, but I could not recall, and particularly I did not attend these kinds of important gatherings. I want to ask you about the content of the document, and I'm going to ask you if the entries I read were typical of what you've already told us about messages. Page, still on E3 slash 5, ERN page Khmer 0006341, French 0053-8976, English 0040-15015, and you're going to be handed now this page to follow what I'm reading in English. So this is an extract from the document, and it says as follows, and I hope you have a red box on your document. I'm going to read the English, and I'd like you to follow it in Khmer and indicate if you do not have this extract. But there's an extract which reads as follows. Now that we have seized control, we must defend the country because the external enemies and the internal enemies want to seize back power, to seize it overtly by warfare, to seize it ideologically and economically by es espionage and to seize it overtly and covertly in every way so that war will re-emerge. Now, is that extract talking about defending the country typical of the message that you've already described earlier this today to the court? Un exemple typique du genre de message dont vous parlez ici et dont vous avez parlé hier. The President, witness, please hold on. The Defence Council for Nuntia, you may proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, if I understood your clarifications of last Friday uh, correctly, uh, the prosecution is supposed to first uh, establish whether or not the witness has uh, seen this document, and specifically this part of the document. If he has not, uh, then it needs to be taken away from him, because uh, in your words, it might confuse the witness. Um, we do not agree with uh, that understanding of the rules, but uh, these are the rules, and they should apply to the prosecution uh, as well. Mr. President, the Monsieur ruling Président, that was expanded upon by Judge Laverne last week was in these terms as I understood it. 
that if the witness hadn't seen the document, questions could still be asked about the content of the document, that extracts of the document could be cited, and not as um, Malona for Mr. Powell had last week of being urged to paraphrase when he was on his feet. Um, can I make this observation? That if we take the written document away from a witness, he's listening to my explanation of what the, the document contains. He can't follow it with having the document in front of him. Uh, and I put my, it's a rhetorical question effectively, but is there any difference between the witness having the document in front of them to follow the question so that they can actually read what the question contains? Is there really any difference between that and me reading out the whole of the extract to him? Um, de la I would respectfully suggest pas, moi, that if a witness has a nexus with the subject matter of the document, si which plainly this witness does with his connection le, with the revolution document, ce qui est le cas, le if one then adds on to that Judge Levern's uh, uh, clarification of the ruling, cela, uh, which was in these terms, par le that juge provided the questioning goes to content which is relevant, then the questioning is admissible before the court. Alors, now, ce it, it est really matters to me not whether this document is withdrawn from the witness moi, or whether the witness keeps it, but a witness in any position, in my respectful submission, Mais is far better assisted by having a document in front of them to follow, which contains relevant admissible evidence, than to remove the document from him. Uh, but I'm in the court's hands. Il est desservi si on le lui retire, mais c'est à la Chambre d'en décider.
The President. Le Président. I now hand over to Judge Jean-Marc Lavagne La to respond to the objection raised Lavergne by the defense team for Nguyen Chia. You may proceed, Judge. Oui, on, on, je vais essayer de rappeler ce yes. qui a été dit lors de la réunion de mise en état, during the à savoir que trial management meeting, il s'agit d'un document qui a été Basically, versé devant la Chambre, qui a été produit au débat. Donc c'est un document dont le has contenu been, peut être uh, utilisé pour servir de fondement aux questions par les parties. To doc, ce document to peut a être remis to ask aux témoins. Such a document Mais le document can be peut être retiré to the witness, si but it would be withdrawn from the witness if the president is of the view that the document is likely to influence Mais the answers of the witness. Le est, euh, but connu du témoin, in so far as the document is known to the witness or may be related to the document, I don't think there is need du, du to withdraw the document du from de, uh, the witness voilà, or that it be removed from the screen. Et, en tous les cas, est I hope that this uh, answers uh, the objections, so the objection is overruled. The President, I hand over to the prosecution to continue his line of questioning. You may proceed. Mr. Kim Vaughan, I was reading out an extract from this revolutionary flag. I'd read out the extract. Part of the extract mentioned, as you know, um, defending the country. And I was asking you the question, was the, the extract that you have in front of you, was that typical of the message, defending the country? I do not recall it uh, clearly, but if you ask me to respond to the uh, portion of the, this document, I don't think I can respond to si it well enough. I was a journalist or a news writer, and if you ask me about the content of the revolutionary flag, I could not comment on it. And normally, I was given only a portion of the uh, article written in the revolutionary flag uh, for uh, publication. I could not uh, comment in details about that because I was the news uh, writer and I uh, did not understand the policy also behind. Mr. Kim Vaughan, can I clarify? You've already told us in your evidence today about um, the content of revolutionary flag containing um, politics, ideology, theory. I'm not asking you whether you saw this particular extract in this particular revolutionary flag. What I'm asking you is, was we must defend the country part of the political message? Nous devons défendre le pays faisait partie du message I also attended uh, the training about that, and when I had to write any articles about that, I had to discuss uh, with uh, my fellow uh, colleagues, because when we wrote a news article, it had to be in a broader perspective. It was not something that uh, was uh, secretive. Normally, the content of the revolutionary flag was uh, meant to be distributed to cadres across the country as a training material, but as for newspaper, we had to 
to expand it in a broader way. But if you ask me to comment on the content of the revolutionary flag, I am afraid I cannot explain. But of course, in terms of the central message of it, uh, that was the defense of the national country. Yes, it was the defense of the country before the construction of the country could take place. But if you ask me to dwell on the substance of this uh, revolutionary flag, I cannot comment. And as I mentioned earlier, I was not a party member. I was merely a member in the Youth League. And within the Youth League, Aside from the editors and the writers of the revolutionary flags, uh, they did not understand the detail uh, of uh, the um, content of the magazine. But I think it uh, was likely to be the case as what I uh, described earlier. Because I did see the cover page, but I did not study the um, content of the magazine. Next question is not restricted question. necessarily to revolutionary flag. But in the whole of your time, from 1975 through to 1979, do you remember anything being said about internal and external enemies. Yes, I did. But they did not explain it uh, in detail. They normally mentioned uh, the uh, Vietnamese or Jun um, enemy or the KGB agent. But I could not explain the detail of this. And in each uh, presentation or training, they did not provide us the, any study materials at all. We had to jot down the points by ourselves. Normally, when we attended the training, we had to bring along with us uh, a writing pad and a pen in order to take notes at uh, the points uh, during the uh, training. And for example, uh, we had to exemple, use certain short hand uh, to take notes uh, uh, certain points uh, throughout the training course. Uh, uh, Mr. Kim Bourne, thank you very much. I'd like to move on to another document, please. Source document E3-380. Three 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 ERN. Khmer 0035-7202, French 0048-58-434. This is still one of your statements to the investigators in this ca uh, case. Um, I'm going to read out the extract and then show you a document. You said on this page, and you're talking uh, about Samdak Sihanouk, and you say, at first Samdak Sihanouk, was the chairman of the state presidium. But later on, Samdak Sihanouk transferred the position to Q Sampan. I saw the document in the printing house I worked in. I saw that document in French and English. Mr. President, I'd like please now to hand to uh, Mr. Kim Bun a relevant document. Whilst it's been handed forward, can I explain to my learned friends in court that the document is headed um, the first plenary session of the first legislature of the People's Representative Assembly of Kampuchea. Now, Mr. Kimball, I'm going to take you through sections Monsieur of this Kimball, document, and then I'm going to ask you if, having seen the document, whether it refreshes you in any way. Um, the E3 number on the document I have is E3 slash 262. Now, 
If you look at the front page, it talks of a press release. The date of the press release is the 14th of April 1976. The bottom of the page reveals that there's this writing on the bottom, the mission of democratic Campuchia to France. The next page that you have, I hope, will be Khmer 00622986, French 00004706, English 00528389, Again, we have the same detail that it's a press release of the 14th of April 1976. And the first line of the text talks of this, and I quote, after the successful election of its members on the 20th of March 1976, the People's Representative Assembly of Kampuchea held the first plenary session of its first legislature. After that, Mr. Kim Bun, you should have a page Khmer 00622989, French 00004708, and English 00528391. And I wonder if I can have assistance just checking that Mr. Kim Bun has the Khmer page 00622989. We have a heading on this page in capitals Examination and Decision. On the request of Samdek Norodom Sihanouk for de retirement de from office, de Samdek Sihanouk, as set out in his statement dans sa of the 2nd of April 1976, 1976 and examination of the government statement of the 4th of April 1976 thereon. And in the text of the document, it says the Assembly grants the request for retirement of Sambek Norodom Sihanouk. On the next page, Khmer 00622. The President, Council for Mr. Kyusampan, you may. Je vous en prie, Maître. Thank you, Mr. President. I take Merci, issue Monsieur with Président. the line of questioning by the co-prosecutor because he has gone deep inside uh, the content of the document uh, without having asked the witness to confirm whether he has ever seen this document before. I am convinced that this practice is not appropriate. Mr. President, there needs to be a crystallization. I suggest now of the understanding by council of this rule. Ou plutôt, la, la défense doit préciser comment elle interprète cette règle. Ce n'est pas ainsi que j'interprète moi la décision rendue. Je vais poser la question au témoin dans quelques instants. Mais because if the document is relevant and the witness has an access to it, and in this case si the witness has mentioned what appears si to be the document in their OCIJ statement, ce document est pertinent well then un lien, the questioning has to establish the foundation of what's in the document before the witness can be asked, was this the document that you're referring to? Dans le and so avant it's témoin, not necessary, as far as I understand this rule, with every moi, single document, 
pour the first chaque document, question la question be, ne doit pas nécessairement être « avez-vous lu ce document ?» car si le témoin well, dit non, relevant, et bien d'après le Lavergne, si le contenu est pertinent, et bien on peut employer le compte obtenu. Tous les avocats et ses présents doivent bien le comprendre. The President, Le President. the objection by counsel for Mr. Kilsompon is overruled. De la de Mr. Kilsompon Co Prosecutor, you may proceed to put your questions to the witness, and witness is instructed to respond to the questions being put. Le témoin devra y répondre. I wonder if I can ask just for some assistance with checking that the witness will have this page in Khmer in the pack that's already been provided. A bien um, le document the page, Khmer. the next page I was referring to la page is ERN Khmer 00622990, French 00004709, and English 00528392. This document then has towards, uh, or, or, or there should be a red box for you, Mr. Kimbun. The heading is Appointment of the State Presidium of Democratic Kampuchea. And it says after in-depth discussion of the ramifications of the various conditions, the Assembly appointed the following persons to the State Presidium of Democratic Kampuchea. Number one, Q. Sampan, President. Now, pausing there, this document says in terms that Samdek Norodom Sihanouk has retired and that Q. Sampan has been appointed as President of the State Presidium. 
Now, was this the document that you saw, whether in English or French, que vous avez vu, perhaps French, en anglais, en français, but was this the document you français, saw mais in the printing house you worked in vu, à when où you vous were saying at first Samdek Sihanouk was the chairman of the state presidium, but later on Samdek Sihanouk transferred the position to Kyu Sampan? Il a transféré ses fonctions à Kyu Sampan. Response. Réponse. This document was originally in Khmer. When I noted that it was published at 27, I grasped the overall content that the king has or had resigned and that Mr. Kilsenpon would then become his successor as a state presidium. However, I do not, or I did not take notice Toutefois, about the shake-up of this uh, leadership level. But I have never seen this document in Khmer before. De remaniement, et je jamais vu ce document en Khmer. I believe that the documents I noted uh, that I saw back then was in French or English. En en I just feel that uh, at that time I paid no attention to that. I only à learned that the king or something like oh juste après, resigned juste après que and Hume, there was a statement on that and I was overwhelmed with sujet. my tax. Too overwhelmed to travail. care for the other bien trop occupé pour information. D'autres informations. So, uh, people who would like uh, to know more about the e evolution of the event would have to resort to listening to the radio broadcast si les gens to address uh, de la to keep themselves abreast of the situation. Pour se tenir informé. Mr. Kim Vaughan, thank you very much for that answer. Mr. President, I see that the time is 10 past 4. Um, is this an appropriate Je moment to break? And if it, if it is, can I thank the court for its indulgence si oui, in allowing this theme to be questioned upon? De m'avoir permis d'interroger le témoin sur ce thème. Mr. President, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Witness and Prosecution. It is now an appropriate moment for today adjournment. The session will be adjourned. The next session will be resumed by Wednesday, which is tomorrow by 9 a.m. For tomorrow's session, we continue hearing the testimony of Mr. Kumwun. Questions continue to be put by the prosecution and followed by the co-lawyers for the civil parties. Then defense counsel will have the floor. Mr. Kumwun, your testimony has not yet been concluded. Uh, you are invited to return to the courtroom tomorrow. Court officer is now instructed to coordinate with the vessel unit to ensure that Mr. Kumun is properly accommodated tonight and have him return to the courtroom by 9 a.m. Security personnel are now instructed to bring all the three accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom by 9 a.m. The court is adjourned. Some general au centre de détention et le ramener dans le prétoire demain matin pour 9h. L'audience est levée.